Hi everyone, Stephen Hutchison here again. So welcome to this live stream today and today what we're going to talk about is how to get anything you want in life. Now I know that sounds impossible but you can do it and there's kind of caveats to that as well. So that's what I want to discuss today and I want to tell you a story um, about it as well. It's quite a, a cool wee story. Hi everybody, welcome to this live cast today. Today we're going to be speaking about how to get anything you want in life and if you've been enjoying these videos I know there's been a lot of kind of information over the last I think this is day seven of the 30 days of change so if you enjoy this video if you've been joining them in the past just share them just um, go down below and um, the kind of video and just hit on share and also leave a comment of where you're from and if you're enjoying the videos and what you would like to see more of as well because this is about kind of an interaction um, between you and I so it's about what you want to learn about as well. It's not just about everything that I kind of teach you. I want to make it as interactive as possible. But today we're going to be, be speaking about how to get anything you want in life. Now I know that sounds impossible but it really is true and it's kind of like, well I'm not even going to say, I'll just tell you kind of story first. Have you ever gone for a job interview that you didn't, you, you didn't really want, you didn't really care if you got the job or not but you went for the interview and it turns out you actually got it, but you, you just didn't care if you got it or not. And conversely, have you ever gone for a job interview whereby you really, really wanted the job and you just couldn't wait and you thought, this is going to be the perfect job, it's going to be brilliant for me if I get it, and you didn't get the job. Has that ever happened to you? Has it happened to me loads of times? All the jobs I've really, truly wanted in my life, maybe apart from a few, I've never really got. I didn't get them. And I didn't understand why until maybe about 12, that was about 14, 15 years ago. But all the jobs that I went for that I didn't really care and I was just relaxed and if I got it, I didn't care. Um, if I didn't get it, I just wasn't kind of bothered at all. And those are the types of jobs I would um, normally get. But it's about your energy, the way you carry yourself the way your energy is kind of stored in, inside you and it's about the power you have inside yourself. That's what it's to do with. And I want to tell you a story relating to that that kind of illustrates it perfectly. And some of you may have read the story or you've maybe heard me talking about it before. But about when I was 28 years old, and we're talking a few years ago now, um, so about 28, 29 years old, I was kind of, I was ready kind of for settling down maybe getting married, thinking about getting married, if I could meet the perfect woman for me. And I hadn't met her yet and I just thought, okay, now's the time to stop playing the field, stop being one of the guys and just settle down and stop playing the field. So I kind of looked and for, I started dating women, obviously, and I was, um, and I was looking for this, my ideal woman, the, the perfect woman. And so I was dating women and it was, kind of became obvious after a couple of months or a couple of weeks or something that she wasn't the one for me. And this happened, this went on for about two or three years. And the more, the more I kind of dated, the more I went out, or the less, or the more I stayed in, because I stayed in towards the end as well. I didn't really go out much. And I was just kind of desperate for to meet my soulmate. And I never ever met her until I was about, it was about 32, I remember walking along Argyle Street in Glasgow and I was walking along to work at the time and this was um, July the 19th 2002 and I'll tell you why I remember it clearly. So on July the 19th 2002 about 8 o'clock in the morning I was walking along Argyle Street and I said to myself okay this is it I'm not going to meet my soulmate. I'm quite happy being a bachelor I'm quite happy with the life I've got I quite enjoyed it I just would have loved to have settled down but I said to myself I'm just going to not chase anymore I'm just going to let it go and I was quite sad about it when I went into work I was a bit down because I just told myself okay I'm going to stop looking for my soulmate obviously she, she might not be out there and I'm just going to stop looking so I went into work and I was quite down and it was a shitty day to be honest just because I'd kind of let go and I was kind of depressed about not having met my soulmate and I just kind of said to whoever the universe or whatever and um, that I'm just, that's it, I'm not looking anymore. And 
when we finished work, I was persuaded to go to the pub with a couple of friends. I was kind of more or less forced into going to the pub. So it was about five o'clock, half past five. Went in the pub, had a, a few pints, and I thought, right, I'm just going to leave just now. And um, my friend at the time, Jason and Tracy, they'd kind of convinced me to stay. So I stayed on for another couple. And then at half past seven, somebody came in the door, and I don't know why, but I looked up, and somebody came in the door to the pub, and I thought, who the hell is that? Well, I kind of said it out loud and I kind of swore at the time, but I'm not going to repeat it here, what I said. Um, and it turns out it was a friend, it was a, the sister of a colleague at work. And I was just kind of mesmerised, I thought, she, she just looks amazing. I'd never spoke to her or anything, but she had that kind of energy about her. There was something, something totally different about her. And then she'd kind of joined our kind of company. And after about another four hours, uh, we eventually got to speak because it was a big crowd, it was about 40 people, so we eventually got to speak and we got up to dance and that was it. There was a, an electric, kind of almost, it was, it was like something like electricity kind of just went through me and went through um, Sharon as well. And I thought, oh my God, I've never kind of experienced that before. And it turns out she was my soulmate. And we've been together ever since, since July the 19th, 2002. And we got married in 2005. And we've got two sons as well, which is, is just amazing. So that is about letting go. That's how you get what you want in life. When you let go of the need for what you desire. Now I know that might sound a bit contradictory but if you can truly desire something without needing it or truly wanting it then that's when things start to happen in your life. And this all comes down to like the law of attraction and I, and I really do believe in the law of attraction. I've practiced it for years and it's worked superbly for me over the years. It's still working I still practice it, still love the, the principles of it, obviously the way it's been taught and the, the likes of the secret and stuff, it's not been taught the correct way. Um, but practicing letting go of what you desire, but still desire it at the same time. And as I said, it sounds contradictory, but it's an energy you give out. Have you ever been with somebody who is kind of clingy and they're desperate to kind of be with you all the time and they just, it's like they're clinging to your leg all the time, you just can't shake them off. And it's a desperation there that makes you kind of repel that person in your life. I don't know if you've ever been with somebody like that. And I've probably been like that when I was younger as well. I was maybe a bit clingy or something and I kind of repelled um, the girl at the time, who, whoever I was with. And it's an energy you've got within you. It's a, a kind of a desperate energy that you've got with, um, within you that kind of repels the very thing that you want in life. Whereby if you've got something you want in life, but you don't need it and you don't desperately want it, that's when things start to kind of really happen for you. So if you've got a goal in life, if you want to get a new job, if you want to get a, a new car, a new partner, not a new partner, but a partner to try and find your soulmate. Let go of the kind of desperation of needing that and wanting that in your life. And that's when things really start to turn around for you. That's what I've found in my life. And, and I've practiced it for years. And that kind of story I told about meeting my wife is a perfect illustration. The very day I let go, the very day I stopped being desperate, the very day I kind of stopped wanting that design, just kind of let it go, that's when it happened. Literally, it must have been less than 12 hours later. Now I know it's not, it's not going to work that way all the time, and, but you have to have a, a true, a true, true desire to let go of it. And once you can truly let go of the outcome of your goals in life, and I mean truly let go, I don't mean just kind of let go in your mind, um, psychologically but truly let go and you just say to yourself if it happens it happens it's cool if it doesn't it's not meant to be and if you can have that 
kind of mentality, that's when things really start to happen in your life. So what I'd love for you to do is just pick something that you've kind of desired in your life or you, you really, really want in your life and practice the art of letting go of that desire. Now, it's not an easy thing to do at first. And the way it works is if you can let go of it psychologically, that's what you do first. You just say, okay, I'm letting go. It's fine. And then energetically, you can let it go as well because there's two parts to it psychologically and energetically as well because we still cling on energetically although we say to ourselves okay I don't care if it comes to me but if you can let go of it energetically as well that's when things start to happen because you, you're kind of almost expanding your energy and I know this is, sounds a bit ethereal or it sounds a bit kind of out there but I just know it works and I'm just passing it on to you what works for me I'm not saying you have to believe in what I'm saying I'm just saying try it that's all you need to do. I'm not asking you to change your belief system or anything else. Just try it and see what happens after a couple of weeks. So pick a goal that you'd like. Not a big, huge goal like to win the lottery or something silly like that. That's not a goal. It's something you work towards, like getting a new job or getting an agent for a book you've written or getting more money in your life as well. Something you actually work towards. But if you can let go of the desire for it, psychologically first and then kind of sit still and just practice letting go energetically as well and you'll find it makes a huge difference in your life and I've written a course uh, a program on that called The Magic at um, you can go to the blog and you can get a free download for the ebook and it, it explains it a lot more in the, the actual ebook so you can go there I'll put a link below this as well but as something magical happens when you can actually let go. And that's what I wanted to kind of discuss um, today and just to see if you've had any experiences like that as well. Obviously, I'm not reading the comments just now. Um, so I, I've just kind of got distracted there and read the comments. So I'm, I've not read the comments just now, but if you've got any experiences of that or if you've got something that you're thinking about or you've got a goal, then can write below and see, or just leave a comment below and let us know what you're looking to do. And then over the next couple of weeks, practice the art of letting go. So what is a kind of three or four step process. You visualize the first what you want. In your mind, you can visualize it. Then you take tiny steps towards getting it. So it's something you can work towards. And then when you've done that, let it go. Simple as that, just let it go psychologically and energetically as well. Let it go. And let us know what happens. If you've done this, let us know in the comments below. Or if you want to practice it, let us know what your, what your goal is. And then come back in a couple of weeks and leave another comment just to say, it worked. It'd be amazing. So I know I've been practicing it every day virtually um, for the last 15, 15 years or something. And it works amazingly well for me. And it's one of the secrets of the Law of Attraction that they didn't really teach in the likes of The Secret and kind of other books like that. A lot of people aren't teaching the Law of Attraction the correct way. If you want to call it that, if you call it something else, that's totally, that's totally up to you. I still like to think of it as the Law of Attraction or kind of universal energy or something like that. And it, it does really work. I believe in a kind of um, a collective consciousness where we can tap into that. And we can tap into the energy of the collective consciousness as well. Um, so that's just why I believe. I'm not asking you to believe it. So leave a comment below if you can, uh, if something's happened to you or you, you want to practice it over the next couple of weeks. I'd love to hear your stories on it. Okay, until tomorrow. Take care.